Good afternoon, folks. The carousel was something I had in mind. I built it probably a number of months before COVID came in and closed us from being able to meet. And it had been in my mind of just trying to conceive how I'd build it and what would how would take that forward. Probably 18 months before I, I started to plan things out and uh, finally start putting things together from it. It's not to scale, so maybe disappointing uh, for some of those that are into the engineering side, but I did manage to sort of roughly scale it uh, with using a model, real figures and photographs from folks standing about in uh, fairground areas just to try and work something that was near enough for scaling without getting into the engineering side. So plywood uh, was the main part of the build apart from some brass studding uh, and some uh, aluminium tubing. So throwing out the shapes uh, and you can see in the left hand side, the sort of drawings and then the cut pieces, which were cut using a, a tabletop bandsaw uh, and a bit of sandpaper and just tidying things up. So that was a photograph of it. And when we need to you know, get a video clip later, you can see the whole thing in action. But I say, Throwing things out, plywood, and then cutting it, as I say, with uh, the bandsaw and tidying it with a bit of sandpaper. Starting to assemble things. I wanted to be able to build something I could take completely apart, something I'd never done before. I'd usually built something uh, and it was glued and nailed or whatever else together. This model I can actually take right down to individual component parts. Uh, so that was why I used the, the brass studding, the washers, and the nuts and gradually building things up from there. So you can see it's starting to take shape. And in the left-hand side, you can see the, the sort of horses that I'd got before they were, were painted. Overall size, it's about 150 millimetres diameter, and it's 115 millimetres in height. You can see the assembling the right hand side with the horses again, just trying things before it was painted. The disc, which was fixed onto the, the center spindle, which was again screwed into the, the shaft of the motor. The motor runs about uh, three revs a minute, working from a nine or 12 volt supply. I'd used fine brass wire and drilled the horses, and you'll see the sort of brass tubes that I fixed in as a nice tight fit into the rotating disc to allow the, some sort of guide for the brass and rounded the bottom of the, the brass wire so that we give us a smooth movement over the, the surface of the base. But the idea of the tubes was, I, I did hope it would go up and down and I'll explain that as I, as I go through things. Painting the horses took a bit of time, but not too bad, uh, and all different shapes and sizes. And then the figures, but the figures themselves had to be cut using a, a scalpel blade to adjust and get them onto the, the horses uh, for the, the carousel. So a bit of work involved, not rather just sticking the, the figures on and get them to fit was a wee bit of a challenge. Again, just showing other aspects of the build. Originally in the base, I had cut dowel rod. So I was hoping at the nice smooth aspects of the, the wire uh, through the horses, as it came to the, the raised area, it would go up and as it passed over, it come back down again. Unfortunately, that didn't work. And I tried then cutting grooves into the wood and it still didn't work as well. So it does rotate. I've got the music, I've got the lights, but the horses don't go up and down. So it might be another future development onto it from that. I used uh, aluminium tubing, which I obtained from uh, Poundland with buying a few garden solar lights uh, and just took out the, the support for them. And that allowed me to tidy up the model also to run some wiring down inside so that it wasn't seen 
as you took it down through the base. Canopy-wise, trying to design that, we've got a trial and error with paper and then card, and then eventually uh, I glued some covered felt over that. The lighting unit was something I had in a box for a number of years. You've probably seen the lighting units in Dobie's Garden Centre at Christmas for the, the sort of model animated layouts. I think it's cost me about six pound at the time, four and a half volt supply, on off switch. And you've got a, you can change the speed with a restart on it. So rather than going and create uh, and build the lights, I thought not perfect to scale, but quite effective when you start putting it onto the, uh, the carousel build. I've not yet put it into the layout. So the photograph on the left just shows a, a base that I created so that I could sit on a, a bench uh, as I walk through or just try on various aspects of it. Again, just another development on it. The wires that you see in the, the left-hand side at the top, the, the blue and the yellow, I've put a speaker inside the, the top area now. Uh, originally, when I built it and trial and things, I had a speaker separate. But I've now got a speaker into that connected up with a, a DF player with the sound. And you can see uh, just an angled photograph, the, the motor drive screwed on to the, the base. And then a side elevation, as it were, of the, the assembly. That was my attempt on the right hand side of using a similar type of Dremel tool with a, a, a sanding attachment just to see if that would work. And I see it hasn't worked from it. Left hand side, just a bit closer to the assembly. So you can see the disc and the rotating disc, which the horses are through. You've got the top canopy, which disguises the speaker, uh, and then the whole thing bolted together. You don't tend, when it's sitting on the, the bench, you don't tend to see the, the gaps have been tightened up, but it was just useful to, to try and demonstrate, show the different elements of it. That's the finished carousel. Uh, can't take credit for drawing a paint and the horses on, uh, I managed to find something online, print it after a couple of attempts, getting something to the right size, cut it out, stuck it onto the, the plywood panels, and then painted round about. And I sort of painted the base to match in the colours near to the, the, the felt at the top. Adding a sound, you can see the speaker that's now in place using a double sided foam. The DF player which you can either use with the, the sound card, uh, micro card, or use a, a USB stick where you can put a number of things on. And of course, you can you can change and vary from different sound effects. Uh, the one that I've got has got a number of sound effects on it at the moment, not just all the fairground bases, but it is my intention at some point to add to this and build a whole separate attachment to the layout. The sound, the light, the music, and I see you can change the, the flashing rate of the, the lights and add whatever music you want into it. Uh, and I think once I build other elements for fairground, it should all come together. That's led me on to developing some other bits and pieces. And I said I had this down at uh, one of the meetings at uh, Press Week, some of you may have seen it. And uh, I see trying to move forward from this. I'm now looking at dodgems. Uh, so dodging cars there are probably 
about 12, 15 millimetres in length and uh, started painting these up, still got the rods up to, to put onto them. And I thought, how am I going to get these to move? Uh, and how can I get them to move randomly? And how can I do it really cheaply? So, So the motion that you can get there from the, a simple mechanism uh, and randomly moving all the time, just as you would get with the, the dodgems. So the mechanics have now get sorted out. And the next one is to start building up the, the layout from it. So free movement, how did it work? There's a magnet at the base. Uh, of each one of the cars and I've got the same uh, three revs motor with again a bit of plywood onto the motor drive and randomly placed magnets and of course the more magnets you put on there the more random movement that it picks up and a very thin piece of card sits across so the mechanics of it fairly simple And what I want to be able to do with the dodgems, and maybe somebody can come back and give me a bit of pointers. Uh, you've got a mesh grid, which you normally get in the dodgems, and I want to be able to generate a flash every so often from the, the cars. Uh, and I'm thinking of a way to be able to put a power across the grid uh, just to create that extra effect. And of course, put the lighting in and the sound, and that will be the next stage in the, the way out. So structure, add the lights, add the sound, uh, and what I'm going to do is create a whole uh, fairground park as an add-on extension to the current layout I have out in the, the summer house. And I can change that to something else at some point if I decide to you know, take away the, the fairground. So that, that's me, folks.